Emmy and Tony Award winning actress and proud Broken Arrow native Kristen Chenoweth came back to Oklahoma to cast light on the mystery behind the murder of the girls you just saw, the Girl Scout murders of 1977. Chenoweth tells us she acts as a guide in a docu-series that dives into the cold case. It's been a mystery here in Oklahoma for decades. Fox 23's Abigail Dye talked with Chenoweth one-on-one -on -one about the series. This is a story I wish I never had to tell. Shining a new light on an old case. It's a little close to home. And it's also something I don't lead with, nor do I really discuss much. Kristen Chenoweth tells me Hulu and ABC approached her, asking her to be a part of their new docu-series on Oklahoma's and famous cold case, The Girl Scout Murders. People don't remember it, and I was so young, and but then I thought, no, if not you, then who? If not you, then who? There's a god wink right here. You're going to... You're gonna do this. It was 1977 at Camp Scott in Mays County that police say eight-year-old Lori Farmer, nine-year-old Michelle Gousset, and 10-year-old Denise Milner were raped and murdered while the camp was asleep. Police arrested Gene Hart in the case, but a jury found him not guilty of the murders in 1977. Chenoweth says she was supposed to be at that camp that year. And my mom wanted me to meet friends. And she asked me about going on this exact camp. Did I, did I want to go? Well, yes, I wanted to go because she, she also wanted me to meet friends and, you know. And uh, of course, I got sick and I couldn't go. And now she gets to tell their stories. The docuseries Keeper of the Ashes is available on Hulu. And Chenoweth says she hopes it shines a light on more than just the tragic ends of these girls' lives. The end goal is to give those families a voice and what they went through since. I also want people to know how Lori, Michelle, and Dee Dee lived. That's my end goal. Covering news that matters, I'm Abigail Dye, Fox 23 News.